through a bit of introspection and find out what brokerages are saying for 2017. Nimesha joins us now to give us more details on all of that. Nimesh. Thanks, Anesh. I've picked up some of the wisest names, you know, uh, on their outlook for 2017. I'll start with Rhythm first. You know, he feels that uh, the markets are looking attractive and poised for a double-digit growth or double-digit return in, in, in 2017. At Morgan Stanley, they have, they have an expectation of 15% INR return in 2017. So they, he's, he seems to be a little bullish on the market at these levels. While growth is going to be a U-shaped recovery, he, uh, which he feels while will be hurt because of demonetization, but the growth will come up in second half. In terms of sectors, they are, they are underbid in defensives and they are betting on banks and, and rate sensitives. Within the, within the individual stocks, they have recently added the stocks like JSW Steel, uh, likes of Sun Pharma into the, into the focus list. And for December 17, the base case, Sensex target is 30,000. So he seems to be one of those uh, you know, bulls on the street at this point in time. Uh, Bharat Air of JP Morgan also, also is of the camp which believes that the earnings would be uh, at least 16% in FY17 and close to 18% uh, or 20% in FY18. So even if you look at earnings worth of 16 18%, that's a kind of return even JP Morgan is expecting for, for FY17. He feels the rural demand is going to pick up uh, in, in second half of this year, and, and which is why they're betting on some of the rural bets. Within stocks, uh, you know, their, cl their clear bets are for private banks, so the likes of HDFC Bank, Yes Bank. Within rural play, they're betting on m and Vedanta is one of the commodities that they bet on, and, and, and stocks like DLF. They have few avoids as well for, for, for next year in the likes of ONGC, BHL, and Bharti Airtel. Uh, the next is, uh, you know, uh, Sanjay Mukhi of, of Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Even he's got a Sensex target of close to 29,000 for year end. So, you know, pretty much in the camp of what rhythm is uh, as far as the bull case is concerned. Uh, for them, they expect the equity returns to, to be pretty much as to what the bond returns have been for in, 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 in 16. So, that's the kind of, you know, expectation they have for for, for FI 17. In terms of uh, sectors, they, they, they too are betting on some of the rural plays, so the likes of two wheelers and, and, and tractors is what they're betting on within large cap. In fact, they have a better, uh, you know, uh, they are more bullish on large caps than mid cap because they feel the mid cap valuations are still not exp uh, still not attractive. So that's a broad call coming in from uh, from Bank of America Merrill Lynch. Uh, the last call is from uh, Citigroup. You know, they, they put out a note. Uh, I think a, I think a month back. You know, and, and they do they expect the demand uh, impact to have uh, at least in the first quarter. It will it will impact earnings as well as growth as well. But you know, uh, they they've been betting on some of the important triggers to watch out for in 2017. Which the first and of course the bigger one would be the GST implementation and and how soon the earnings can pick up in second half. So they are also betting on uh, earnings in the second half to pick up. In terms of sectors, uh, they are bullish on financials. Uh, you know, uh, they they've turned slightly uh, slightly bullish now. Uh, within autos, they bet on Hero, Hero Motor Corp and Tata Motors and they're underweight on, they're still underweight on IT while, while they've cut the underweight, but they still uh, feel IT will underperform. So broadly, you know, if you look at consensus view, it looks like 12 to 15 percent is, uh, return is what we, uh, most of the experts are expecting from the from equities and they're betting on private banks and, and consumption as a theme to play out in the second half of this year, of CY17. Okay, Nimesh, thanks a lot for that. Well, just a couple of stocks. Uh, by the way, the Sensex and the Nifty 